What's up everybody? It's your boy DJ Slank Man. Today I got some things on Jake Paul. So he came out with a vlog and it was talking about is Jericho real or not? Well, he kind of didn't really answer the question, but this is what he said. And a lot of people are asking, is Jericho real? Is Jericho real? What's Jericho? Uh, basically guys, Jericho is like we're best friends and like we get along we're always together i love erica she's like she's so awesome and she's really beyond just being my best friend she's really attractive and so there is a little bit of intimacy and uh i don't know i don't know what to call it we kind of just like go with the flow and uh i think erica would tell you the same thing yeah, he, he really just didn't say much about it. He said, you know, they're friends, but he also didn't say that they were dating, but he also didn't say that they weren't dating. So, kind of left up in the air, even though he said in that article that it's fake, they aren't dating, that they aren't married. Also, the other day, Jake Paul put out a vlog, and wow, I couldn't believe that Gucci Man was in it. <laughs> Well, he's been getting roasted on. So Keemstar, you know, of course he roasted the shit out of Gucci Man saying, what in the hell? This is career suicide if you partner up and do music with Jake Paul and just a whole bunch of other people. Yeah, here are just a few of the tweets that fans have been tweeting out about Gucci Man and Jake Paul. What in the hell are you doing, man? Like, really, you got good music, you got a good shit going for you, Gucci Man. You're doing awesome. And you wanna do a track with this jokester? I mean, I guess he probably paid Gucci like a million dollars a collab or some outrageous number. Uh, it's probably what happened. He, he like paid an outrageous amount of money to Gucci Man to be on his track, you know? Cause Gucci Man, he got fired. I love Gucci Man. But to see him with Jake Paul, also H3H3, man, they called out Keemstar and Scarce. Like, let's watch this clip. And, and to Keemstar and to Scarce, shame on you. You're my peers. You take yourself seriously. You made a fucking joke of yourself. I have no respect for either of you. Because you have people yeah. like Keemstar and Scarce who are your peers, and they'll DM you. Like, Keemstar DM me two days ago, and he's like, hey, how are you, buddy? I haven't talked to you in a while. Mm. I'm like, I'm fine, dude. And then the next day, he's like, H3's a hypocrite. I didn't watch the podcast, Isn't but this nice? guy says he's a hypocrite. Now, the reason why people are so mad is because they think that Ethan, H3H3, is being a hypocrite because on his podcast, he said the N-word too. This is a fucking nearly four-year-old man who thrives on making videos about Jake Paul. Let's, let's turn to him for the news. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Bro, he roasted King Star. <laughs> he got him, man. And I, I, I don't know. You know, King Star, he's right. You know, it, H3H3 did say the N word like over and over repeatedly, and he was being a hypocrite. And then H3H3 comes back, and you know, I, I, I'm not on either side yet. I really don't know. But yeah, he roasted the shit out of them. And then this is what King Star said in response to him on Twitter. Hey guys, I just got home. I was planning on making an H3H3 H3 video defending myself, but I don't even know if I need to. I mean, like 90% of the people on Twitter are calling Ethan a liar because he lied, all right? Uh, if you search Keemstar and H3H3 H3 on YouTube for videos in the last 24 hours, they're all negative against Ethan. None of them are negative against me. D do I even need to defend myself? I mean, the proof's right there. Like, you know, Ethan said that I called him a hypocrite. No, I didn't. That was a blatant lie. Ethan not just attacked me, but attacked my fans, which is so fucked up. He said that my fans are 12 year olds. And it's like, bro, I, I, how do you not understand that a lot of people that watch me also watch you? You literally called your own fans, Ethan, fucking 12 year olds. And the whole reason why Ethan even tried to call my fans 12 years old is to devalue their opinions that, you know, a lot of people are saying that he's a hypocrite. I didn't say that, right? But a lot of people are. So if he can manipulate the situation thinking, well, anybody that thinks I'm a hypocrite is a little kid and they're coming from Keemstar, then he can, then he can make all those points seem like they're invalid because they're just coming from kids. And also, because he's getting a lot of hate right now, he tried to use me as a scapegoat to send all the hate my way. Well, it's not working, Ethan. Like, I'm not getting any hate at all. There are a few tweets, and I'm talking like under 10 tweets that I have seen at me saying, Ethan will destroy you. But, you know, who would say that type of thing? Mmm, a little kid? Who is not defending me, but defending you? Yikes! 
Then last night he said, Keemstar's a 40 year old who makes Jake Paul videos. Well, bro, you, you made like six Jake Paul videos yourself. And I looked it up. I don't know if this information is 100% correct, but it looks like according to the internet, you're 32 years old, I'm 35. You're only three years younger than me, Ethan. At the end of the day, H3H3 has been proven to be lying about what he said about me. He's trying to shift the hate that he's getting onto me because I don't think he could take criticism well. And also, do I need to make a video defending myself? No, I don't think I even have to because everyone already is. So thank you guys for defending me. Thank you for being over 12. Anyways, don't forget to drop a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe with notifications on. Hit like, dislike. I don't give a shit. It's your boy, DJ Slangman, out.